Dr. Jonathan Edlow, emergency room physician at Beth Israel Digenes Medical Center and author of the book Bullseye, Unraveling the Medical Mystery of Lyme Disease, discusses ticks and ways to keep your family safe this summer. I think people need to know that ticks can be dangerous. And ticks are dangerous not just for Lyme disease, but there's a whole host of other tick-borne pathogens, tick-borne diseases that are uh, spread by tick bite. We'll see a lot, of, uh, a lot of patients with tick bites. Partly the number of cases has grown because both patients and physicians are more aware of it, but clearly it's also because Lyme disease has become more common. Okay, so you took the tick out two days ago and you used a pair of tweezers? We'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of patients with the, the rash of Lyme disease, which is sometimes called a bullseye or a target rash, and uh, that's pretty common. And then also we'll see patients that come in with, with second stage Lyme disease, like a, a facial nerve palsy, where half of the face becomes paralyzed, or a mild lymphocytic meningitis. Anywhere you see deer, uh, you basically have Lyme disease, and that's a lot of uh, space in eastern Massachusetts. The specific tick that carries Lyme disease, the deer tick, uh, they're about the size of a sesame seed. If you do have a tick that's bitten you, remove it early, because it often takes about 24 hours for the, the spirochete, the bacteria, to migrate from one part of the tick into the salivary glands, and therefore you have some time to remove the tick before you're going to be infected. There are some strategies, for example, you know, clearing the brush away and, and just doing various environmental stuff at your house uh, that can make it a little bit less desirable for mice and deer. Uh, the second thing would be, you know, personal protective stuff. So wearing white as opposed to wearing black, it's easier to see a tick crawling on you. Um, if you're walking out in the woods, staying in the center of a trail rather than at the periphery of the trail. We're looking for ticks. If you have young kids that are playing outside, uh, it's worth doing a tick check. Uh, the hairline is a common place in young children where the ticks will embed. And there's probably eight or ten different tick-borne diseases. And some ticks will be carrying two or three of those germs, so a single tick bite can give you two or three diseases. As well, there are the larger dog ticks which don't transmit Lyme disease, but which do transmit other things like tularemia and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. And there's a kind of new tick on the block, as it were, the, the lone star tick. Kind of looks like a, a watermelon seed with a little dollop of light yellow paint on it. That's what the adult female looks like. And that can cause a Lyme-like disease um, that's called uh, Masters disease which is probably caused by a similar bacteria, but we really don't know yet. But that's also treatable with antibiotics. The main thing to remember is that, you know, ticks are common in the summer. Try to avoid them when you can. Uh, when you do get bit, there are some preventative strategies one can take. And if you do get one of these diseases, they're all treatable uh, to various degrees or another.